you know, there's certain principles that are just across the board. It's it's actually a lot of the time why we get this whole struggle of Christian men knowing how to um, appeal to women a lot of the time, um, which is sad. But <laughs> you know, this whole mystery aspect. It should never be done in manipulation, so that would be the worldly way to do it by force or to do it because now you know it's a principle, therefore I'm going to do it deliberately, so it shouldn't be that way. However, I've come to realize naturally yeah, that the mysterious aspect is a manifestation of your own security. A man with a low self-esteem who's desperate is not going to be mysterious and he's going to push women away and this is just a reality. And I've spoken to so many women over the years, right? Big women, young women, small women, short women, tall women, skinny women, fat women, like different countries around the world. And I say the same things and they all give me the same feedback. Um, and it's all the same. So yes, women like the edge of a man, that, that mysterious edge. And that's why they end up going for bad boys because they don't, because they don't see the balance in the church. They'll go for the bad boy because he gives them a little bit of edge, a little bit of not too needy. And then when they go to the Christian guy, he's desperate, he's needy, he's all over them, and it puts them off, and then they end up going for the bad boy again. And so I would say this is just a matter of just us as believing men to be strong. And what it is, is there's one of my notes, I've got it written, that if you want to keep a girl entertained, just don't think about her, think about God. Basically, if your focus and priority is the Lord Jesus... You're not going to have enough time to be obsessing over her and worrying about the messaging and if she's going to message. So the mystery will happen naturally. In the Bible days, in the historical days, it was also natural because the man was outside of the house most of the day. So, and remember, there was no dating rubbish. So you would get married and you would get to know the person after marriage. And that's another note I was writing that it's actually better to marry somebody before you know them too well. Because then... What men do in dating, I, I wrote this down, maybe I can share that. Dating is actually a female construct. It's it's the way to demystify a man. Once they've demystified you, they're bored. So dating works in a woman's favor, but not in a man's favor. It makes a man let everything go and show everything and show all of his emotional character flaws. And by the time the dating process is over, she's bored. Because it's like, I know too much, you know. Whereas in the olden days, it was like, who's this mysterious man? Well, he's your husband. Okay, now I'm, and you know, a bit of a tension in the bedroom, a bit of a tension. When he comes home, what does he expect of me? Do I, do I, do I meet his approval? Girls actually like that stuff. They actually like the idea of, am I good enough for him? That's actually the best place for a girl to be in order for her to remain sexually stimulated and excited. It's the idea of, am I good enough? Does he love me? Does he like me? And, and you validate in her as the time goes by. But when it's all up in her face, and women say this all the time, when it's too much information, I love you, baby, I love you, baby, you're my world, you're my, you're my apple, you're my fruit, you're my sky, you're my moon, you're my... It's like, that's the one that cringes women out. Even though Hollywood has made men become that way, that's effeminate, and it cringes a lot of women out. Women actually like the mysterious edge. So I would say the mysterious edge is a result of you being substantial and having your own life. And then even when you love a woman, you're not overcome or overtaken. Like I've said before, when a man doesn't have an occupation, the woman becomes his op occupation and that fails. So you need to have your occupation. You need to have your substance. You need to be, you know, about what you're doing, about your father's business. And then what, and then the woman will just follow you because she'll be like, wow, you're interesting. You're intriguing. She's, she wants to know more about you and she has to follow you to learn instead of you chasing her down. So absolutely, it's one of those world, worldly, uh, world broad principles where, yes, the worldly people can use it in a wicked way, but the Bible says that the worldly, uh, the children of the dark are wiser than.